everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's currently a Friday afternoon, it's four o'clock, and I've got an hour and a half till I've got to go and look after my nipper. So, we're gonna quickly go and do the lobster pots and crab pots, and hopefully we got a few in, guys. So, I'm not gonna mock around, just stay tuned, let's get straight to it, and let's go catch these lobsters and crabs. So, first strings of pots, hopefully, we get a few lobsters and a few brown crabs. That's what I'm hoping. They've been out for about five, six days and they were baited up with bream. So hopefully they're gonna be full of crustaceans. Let's get them. Full of brown crab. Lots of them. That is stuff. That pot there is stuffed with brown crab. Um, it looks like there might be one or two keepers, but there's a lot of smalls in there as well. We got one brown crab in that one. Right, let's give you a show of it. Well, there you are, guys. That's the first pot there. That's a nice brown crab there. There's about two or three brown crabs in there, which are very good. So I'll be getting them out shortly. And in the second pot, we got one big brown crab there. So I'm going to get these out. We're empty them. Get onto the next set. Get onto that next set. So this is the second set. The first set we had about four big brown crabs, so no lobsters, but I'm happy with just brown crabs as well guys. So that's four brown crabs and hopefully we get a few lobsters and brown crabs in this one. A couple of tiny brown crabs, not a lot in there. They're certainly not worth showing you anything in that pot. Just small brown crabs. Nothing worth keeping. I'll give you a quick show. One spider crab. Oh! One male crab. Lots of small stuff. It's all small shankers about that size. No good to us whatsoever. So they're all undersized. We'll get them all out. In the second pot, we have the same again. Two small. Brown edible crabs. I'm going to get these out, bake them up, get onto that next set. Let's get onto that third set. So, everyone, so far we've had four brown crabs, and that was all in one pot. Uh, no, three in one pot, one in the other. The inkwells didn't do too well. Hopefully, these parlor pots do a little bit better and hopefully there's a lobster around here. A few small brown crabs. Not very good. Not doing very well at all. Three brown crabs in there and I don't reckon one's in size. And a few more small brown crabs. I'll give you a show what's in the pot. So there's the first pot. That crab there is probably a keeper. So we've got one keeper. That's good. One keeper there. Chuck him in there. And these are all going to be too small. They're not big enough. One, two, number three. No good. So we release them. And then in here, too small. Small brown spider crab. Another small brown crab, too small. Far too small that, lovely male. And that's a female. And a female brown crab as well, so. Not very good in the pot. Break these up and get us in the next set. we've had is brown crabs at the moment let's hope that uh, maybe this pot can produce the lobster I'm hopeful it's full of brown crab we've got lots of brown crab loads of brown crab nice big ones in there as well there's an absolute buster in there oh. well, it's just a big mess of brown edible crabs let's give you a show of them yeah guys, as you can see, that's the first pot. Few brown crab in there, not very good. They're all small stuff, but in the second pot, we got some ginormous ones in there. About two or three, that's good ones. So, uh, check that one out. 
nice male. He seems a bit soft actually. I have to check him for softness. He's a little bit soft that one I think. He doesn't feel full. Anyway guys, I'm going to put you back on the mount and uh, I'm going to start emptying these crabs out. Okay, let's get on to that last set for up here. So this is the final set for up here and then we've got four other sets which are just over there. Now, I did see a fisherman pulling pots right next to where my pots were today and I couldn't stay because I had to go to work because I had concrete on the back. But hopefully they're going to be full of lobsters and crabs. If not, I reckon it was that fisherman, but we never know. So. And more brown crabs. Brown crab galore at the moment. I don't know what's going on. It's just brown crab after brown crab. Just more brown crabs. There's a nice big one in there though. Right, let's give you a show of this boster. It's huge. So guys, first pot, check that bruiser out. Those two are too small, but check him out. He's not too small, not at all, guys. He's an absolute buster, that is. Absolute buster. Don't try and pinch other ones. You've got to watch that, because these big males, they get a bit ferocious, and they want to bite the others, but that's a lovely big male, that. We love him. Those are two too small. And in the second pot, oh, we've got a nice lobster. That might be big enough. And a couple of big brown crabs there, guys. So, two brown crabs and maybe a lobster. I'll measure that lobster and let you know if it's big enough. He might just be too small, he might be in. It's a lovely little male. Fantastic lobster. Let's, uh, let's measure him and see if he's in. So guys, I just measured that lobster and it's bang on the money, it's a keeper. So we're happy with that, one lobster and two brown crabs. Let's bake these up and get over to the other side and do those other four strings. Okay, let's get on to those next strings, guys. So this is the first part of the four sets that are over the other side. Hopefully we do a little bit better than last time over there, because uh, we did get a lot of brown crab. We've had a lot of brown crab, but we've had no lobsters, just one, one keeper do with a few more really so uh yeah let's hope we get a few more here guys crustaceans brown crab dogfish you name it we got it a couple of nice brown crab in there again brown crab city at the moment just a small lobster in there let's give you a show of it so guys first pot a nice little lobster there that is not going to be in size, that is too small. That's a lovely looking lobster. Check him out, absolutely beautiful. It's a small male there, you can tell by those first two appendages or feelers that are hard. Right, I bobbed my middle finger there. That's how you tell it's a male. And normally the females are a lot bigger in the body. Yeah, fantastic, we're going to let him go guys, so chuck him back. That's it for the first pot, we'll just shut that door up. And then the second trap, check that out. One, two, three, we've got a dogfish as well, check that out. He'll be pot bait, so he'll be going in the bait tub. But yeah, lots of brown edible crab. We've got one, two, definitely two keepers. No, that one is as well, three. All the rest are too small. So yeah, I'm going to empty these, bait them up, we'll get on to the next set guys, let's do it. Alright, let's get on to those last three sets. Now the danger of doing pots tenfold in the night time guys, you've got to have your wits about you. Just take your time when you're doing the pots. Well, the ink whales, they're more for the spider crabs, but 
Spider crab season ain't till April, so April, May. Zilch! Absolutely nothing. Ugh. There's not really anything to show you in these inkwells, guys. All I've got is, um, well, I've got nothing. I've got one small spider crab, which is there. No good to us. Another one, and a small brown crab. And that's it. That is it. So I'm gonna bake these up, and we'll get on to the next two sets. Let's do them. Right, let's get on to those last two sets. Come on, you lobsters. <laughs> Nope, we have a dogfish again. Another dogfish, guys. Seems to be getting a lot of these lately. Yeah, a dogfish and no, no crab or lobster whatsoever. Very poor, very, very poor, guys. Not a lot in here. Um, we have one, two, Three small spider crabs and that is it. No good whatsoever. And in this end pot, we've got a dogfish, which we'll keep for bait. And just got one, two small brown edible crabs, guys. Little males, no good. We're gonna bake this up and we're gonna get onto that last set and hopefully we'll get a lobster out of that one. Let's get it. Right, let's get on to that last set, guys. So this is the last string of the day. Night is upon us. It's currently five o'clock in the evening. And yeah, we haven't done very well. Lots of brown crabs, but only one lobster. But still a probably enjoyable time pulling the pots, guys. I really do enjoy it, so. One thing I'd like to say, as I always say, is when you're doing crab pots, please, 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 just watch your ropes. Um, I always say it, but if you go down to Davy Jones Lock and you get caught up with that, you're not going to be able to come back. So, uh, please, just watch yourself as you're doing crab pots. That's Inglorious' top tip. Always watch the rope. And always have your method of how you're going to do the pot. And that way, that will cause less accidents. Brown crab. That's not very good. Last pot. Okay. That's the last pot, guys. I don't know what's in them. Oh, we've got a lobster in here. I don't think it's going to be big enough, though. One small brown crab. One velvet swimming crab. Too small brown crab there so guys i apologize for the camera cutting out uh it just ran out of battery but that's the last set and uh unfortunately we have one lobster but it's a softy so what i've done is i've left it in the pot and hopefully that will attract a couple of males and it will also let the lobster harden off as well so i'll put a bit of bait in there so she can have a little feed and we're going to chop these back out and we're going to start making our way in guys not a great day on the lobster front two lobsters but we've had plenty of brown crab. Let's start doing these and making our way in, guys. Okay, guys, let's start making our way in. So, guys, we're back in port now. Uh, I've just washed down the boat. I've got to go and watch my nipper, so I'll have to be quick about it. I've just counted the crabs. We've had 15 brown crabs. Check this out for a bongo brown crab, guys. Absolutely. Fantastic if I can get the GoPro out. Check that out for brown crabs. 15 brown crabs we had. And we've also got one lobster, which is there. So a nice lobster, a few brown crabs. Absolutely fantastic. That's what you call fishing. Like I say, we would have wanted more lobsters, but 
that was it on the brown crabs. Just, just lots of brown crabs. So if you've enjoyed this content, guys, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe bar button and share it on all your social media. It's only you guys that help this channel out. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for coming along, guys. Danny from Inglorious Fishing. See you next time.